on Monday, March 23rd, Monday evening, the Ryan Fire Department, uh, along with several other departments, responded to a house fire on Highway 117, uh, just a few miles out of Milan. Uh, the home belonging to Miss Brenda Chambers suffered heavy damage. Um, we spoke to Miss Chambers' son-in-law, who says that the family's in need of donations. Hi, right, Craig Birch is the son-in-law of Miss Chambers. Uh, this house belonged to Miss Chambers. Uh, Craig, you were telling me about uh, any donations that, that friends yeah. and neighbors might can make. If you guys have any donations, contact me or Tanya. Uh, you guys already pretty much know who we are. So just contact me or Tanya. Um, you can be reached at 478-231-7279 or 762-241-3064. Call us anytime. We need some help. Now, the state fire marshal's office sent an investigator to look at the scene. Uh, investigator James Atkins inspected the home. Uh, investigator Atkins spoke with the Eastman Examiner and told us that they had determined the cause of the fire to be arson. Uh, so, it's not known at this time. There's no, been no suspects named. Uh, but uh, uh, investigator Atkins said that the, the fire is a result of arson, and that's the official determination of the state fire marshal's office. Well, the fire department had received a call at 6.15 to Rainier Lane here in Ryan, Georgia, uh, to a house fire. Upon their arrival, they extinguished the fire. They seen some stuff that just didn't look right, so they called me in to investigate the fire. Uh, I investigated the fire, and my findings is it's going to be a set fire. So, uh, so it, when you say a set fire, you, you, that would uh, we most likely would think arson? Yes, it's going to be an arson fire human act. Okay. Right. Fire. Any, can you go into any details? At this time, I can't go into no details. All I can say is it is a set fire, and we're going to be investigating it myself along with the Dodge County Sheriff's Office. Okay. Has anybody been arrested? or Not at this time. Okay. On Wednesday, March 25th, uh, I spoke with uh, Investigator Atkins of the State Fire Marshal's Office again. Uh, Investigator Atkins uh, has told me that... Uh, they have pretty well narrowed down the source of the fire uh, in this case and that he expects an arrest to uh, to come very soon. So an arrest in, in this case of arson is imminent. Uh, this is Jimmy Jones reporting for the Eastman Examiner.